Kyle. Kyle here with more Seven Days to Die. And as you can see, we are in the second half of day 35, just waiting for the horde to show up this evening. And just want to show you basically what I've been working on here a little bit. Um, I've gone ahead and started putting in the second row of cobble, so we now have this line finished. Uh, this line is now being finished. And I've got more iron, uh, more iron bars being crafted downstairs in the uh, forge. So, I have to say, one of the things I don't like about the new crafting system is that you, when you have, uh, because everything is basically kept in the forge, all your raw materials, um, it makes it difficult to have multiple forges, because you basically have to produce twice as much resource in order to be able to run two forges simultaneously. Um, in single player, it's not too bad. In the multiplayer stuff, we did find that we do kind of need multiple forges. Um, that way we can have, you know, enough materials for everybody to be using things, to be creating their own stuff. But man, is it resource intensive. So, and that's one of the problems that I'm running into here is that I want to be able to do two or three things simultaneously. And in order to do so, it requires me to basically split my resources between the two forges, which is why I still only have the one forge. And I'm just, I know I'm just getting paranoid, but... Man, I keep thinking that there are zombies around. I know that you don't normally run into them on day 35, except, you know, whatever may be actually there, but they don't tend to spawn in the local area. Because it's the, uh, the horde day, but we shall see if that holds true. Because I am expecting a heat map horde too, because I've been running the forge pretty much non-stop since uh, last time you were all here. So, happy Wednesday, everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic week so far. Uh, just as a reminder, we are still doing the giveaway this week for a free copy of Seven Days to Die. If you haven't had a chance to uh, enter that, that giveaway yet, make sure you uh, hit that link. I'll put it in the... I may put one on screen, but I'll definitely put it down in the, uh, the details section of the video. That way you know exactly where to go to, to enter for your chance to win. All right, so let's see here. All right, and then a, a brief thank you to everybody for you know just smashing that like that like button. Uh, it's the the support I have to say has been absolutely phenomenal. Thank you all for that. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm happy to see a bunch of new subscribers this week. Just wanted to say welcome to the community, and then for the long term subscribers and the uh, folks that have been here a while, welcome back, and hope to see and hope to continue to see you in the near future. All right, let's see here. I might actually. Do I have any iron bars left? I'm curious. So if we put one set of iron bars right there, we'd be able, if anyone gets through, we'd be able to shoot down in here. I might do that. So what I, one of the things that I was thinking about doing was taking these stairs out and just closing off this area. Um, and I might still do that. But basically what I was going to do is ha uh, move the stairs so that they go here instead. So when you're coming over, it's just you run straight up, and then basically you have a set of stairs like right here or something that come up onto the wall. Uh, just make it a little bit easier to get around the base. We'll see how that we'll see how that actually plays out. I'll leave it as it is for right now, uh, mainly because of the fact I'm kind of curious to see if the zombies get through. How are they going to path? So, let's go close all of this stuff off. I do need to go grab the rest of those iron bars. Oh, that's not good. Alright, so... Alright, so we're going to go ahead and pick up these. Because at this point, if, they, if the zombies make it in this far... Yeah. <laughs> I've got larger issues if they make it in this far. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that. Go grab the rest of those iron bars. And um, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of this off camera. And I will bring you back when we're a little further along and ready for the zombies. <laughs> See y'all shortly. And welcome back everybody. So, 
what we're doing here is uh, we are coming up on 2200 so we should have the zombies here near <clears throat> in the near future let's see how this all plays out shall we <laughs> hmm This way I can actually see. So one of the things that I did do is I got downstairs long enough to drop, I don't know, like 70 or 80 sets of the uh, the wooden spikes, as you can probably see, if you uh, depending on what resolution you're watching this in. <laughs> so all of those little shadows down there are wood spikes. Now, I'm hoping, well, I'm, I'm assuming, I shouldn't say hoping, I'm assuming that the horde is going to come from this side, uh, but with the way that the game's been playing, there's just no real way of telling. So, let's see where uh, everything goes. And it sounds like they are actually upstairs. Yep, they're upstairs. Wow, that was quick. Alright, we're gonna leave that open for now, because I may actually be... Look at all these guys. <laughs> Ooh, that's a whole lot of hatred down there. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Oopsie. Ooh, let's get a little closer than I like. Hey, there's the feral. Hey, Mr. Feral, how you doing? <laughs> oh, that hurt. being hit by. Whoa, hello. That's not good. Let's see. 
don't think I have anything on me to stop it either. Nope. That's not good. Oh, oh. Alright, so. And I died. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. I forgot to move my bedroll. Oh, well, you know. Hey, look. That's not good at all. Lots of ammo. And, uh, nothing to use it with. Well, hells. See? I knew there was something I forgot. Is there anything in here that I can use? Yeah, a rifle. <laughs> I could really use a rifle. Oh. Oh. So I guess we're going to go find out how much of the uh, base is left. Well, here's one of the benefits to having your base completely away from your, or your bedroll completely away from your actual base. Oh, man. This is gonna suck. <laughs> Alright, let's go do it. Oh. Really? Wondering if uh, we're close enough that they will come over here instead, but I doubt it. Let's see if we can bait them away from the base a little bit. Ooh, that is a interesting time in the OK Corral. question is, is can I get my stuff nope ah oh hello get off me get out ah This isn't good because I don't have a bedroll down now either. Where the heck did it spawn? Oh, that's that's really no bueno. Come on, guys, really. <sighs> All right, well, we've got no. We've got no weapons, no items, <laughs> and we're now being chased by zombies. This isn't good. But on the flip side, at least we found the farm. Alright. <laughs> oh, see? This is why you always carry spare weapons in your uh, inventory. 
So that way, if something like this happens, you always have something to fall back on. Oh, running nurse. Yeah, we're probably going to end up dying again. I definitely don't have enough stamina to keep running until 4 a.m., so... <laughs> So yeah, this is one of the reasons why I was talking about making sure you have small, like, small bases and caches of things, because... Yeah. And we're dead. <sighs> so, the only thing that I can hope is that each of these deaths are not causing my items to despawn. Um, because we did see that before where... What are you... Dude, this game is just... What? Alright, so let's put... We're going to do our quick waypoint there. See if we can get back... Oh, look, we do have a weapon. We have a machete. <laughs> Alright, so... It's just after 2 a.m. in the game, there is... <laughs> Please tell me that is not the zombie bear. It's bad enough if it's a regular bear. I really do not want it to be a zombie bear. Okay. Because if it's a zombie bear, it's going to chase us. And I am not going after a zombie bear with a machete. Come on, up the hill. Yeah, Mad Mole, if you ever see this, get rid of the damned <laughs> incline thing. Oh my god. Such a stupid mechanic to put into the game. On top of everything else, let's put a mechanic in the game that keeps you from being able to move. Ah, <sighs> alright. And another bear. Oh my god, really? I do think those are the zombie bears, because that looks like it's uh, an all black. Yep, that's a zombie bear. So you do normally get them on the Horde Knights. Um, they're, for those who haven't seen them, they're a much meaner version of the regular bear. Much, much more difficult to kill as well. <sighs> Come on, up the hill. Yeah. The other thing is, is if you're going to put this kind of crap into the game, make it so it affects everybody, not just the player. That is such a ch